welcome along and welcome to this spotlight on the brand new Kubota Pack DLC. This DLC is released for Farming Simulator 22 next Tuesday, the 28th of June, and includes a range of vehicles and equipment for Farming Simulator 22 from Kubota. And we are going to have a look through this pack in this video today. We will go through the machines and equipment that are included in this DLC, uh, along with the various specs and options for each one. And then we're gonna go and do a little bit of a field test with the tractors, um, because I wanna show them off a little bit to you as well. Um, included in this pack are four tractors. You've got the M5, the M6, the M7 and the M8. Uh, along with this, you have specific front loaders for these. So you've got the uh, LA2255 front loader, which is the smaller one, and the M77 front loader as well. These are the only front loaders that will fit on uh, these three tractors, the M6, uh, 7 and 8. Uh, the only options they have is for these front loaders. Uh, you also have this uh, standalone front loader, the R640. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, a front loader. Uh, you've again got the SVL97-2 and the uh, SSV75. Uh, these are the two skid steers that are included in this pack. And then you've got two ATVs uh, included as well. Um, you've got the Sidekick, the RTV XG850. And over here, you've got the RTV X1140. So let's take a look at the specs of these machines. Uh, first up, we've got the Kubota M5 series tractor. This has a base price of 64,500. Um, it has an engine range of 92 to 106 horsepower, a manual transmission, 76 liter fuel tank. 21 miles an hour top speed and weighs 2.5 tons. Uh, it is especially uh, useful for orchards and vineyards, this tractor. Uh, we've got wheel brand selections uh, with no wheel options. So just um, Stolberg and Verdestein. Uh, we've got a front weight option, so you can go all the way up to 450 kilograms. And then engine setups, you've got uh, all the way up to a 106 horsepower with just the two engine options on this one. And you've got the license plate as well. The second tractor in this pack is the M6 series for 80,000. This has a horsepower range from 104 to 141, is a manual plus power shift gearbox, 190 litre fuel tank, 24 mile an hour top speed and weighs 4.4 tons. Options on this include wheel brand, wheel setup, front weight, uh, front loader attacher and engine setup that gives you the uh, maximum of the 141 with four different engine options in there front loader attacher as i mentioned before is for the kubota front loader only so those are the only ones that will fit on this tractor front weight the maximum you can get is 450 kilograms and of course you've got the option of the three-point linkage as well Wheel setup, we've got a wide variety of wheels on this tractor. Uh, everything from twin wheels to narrow tires uh, to wheel weights and wide tires as well. And this goes across several different wheel brands, including Michelin, Continental, Midas, Verdestein and Nokian, as well as the default Trelleborg. The third tractor is the M7 series. This goes from 128 to 168 horsepower with a variable CVT gearbox. Uh, it's got 330 litre fuel tank, a maximum speed of 31 miles an hour, and it weighs 7 tonnes. Options on this include wheel brand, wheel setup, warning signs, front weight, front loader attacher, engine setup, and the number plate. 
you have uh, various wheel brands in Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Verdestein, and Nokian. Uh, lots of different wheel setups on this. Again, everything's covered from the wheel weights to the wide tyres, narrow tyres, uh, lots of twin wheel options as well. Warning signs can be added or removed. Uh, I like this. Uh, it gives it a little more of an international flavor to it. Uh, front weight, you've got the three point is the standard. And then you've got everything from no weight up to 540 kilograms. Front loader attacher, as before, is just the Kubota option. And the engine setup starts at 128 horsepower. And you have two other options that take you up to 168. The fourth tractor in the pack is the M8 series. This ranges from 180 to 200 horsepower with a variable CBT gearbox. Has 375 litre fuel tank, a 31 mile an hour top speed and weighs 8.1 tonnes. This has options of wheel brand, wheel setup, front weight, front loader attacher, and engine setup, along with the customizable number plate. Wheel brands include Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, Verdestein, and Nokian. And wheel setup, like the other tractors, uh, is a variety of standard uh, wheel weights, wide tires, multiple twin wheels, and narrow tires. Front weight can be set to a three point and everything from no front weight through to a 400 kilogram weight. Front loader attacher, again, like the other two tractors, the M6 and the M7, uh, you can put a Kubota front loader attacher on here. And engine setups go from the 181, which is 180 horsepower, uh, and the 201, which is the 200 horsepower version. Front loader included in this pack is the R640. This has 61 horsepower, a variable CBT gearbox, 70 litre fuel tank, 11 mile an hour top speed and weighs 5.2 tonnes. This has only the options of wheel brand, wheel setup and licence plate. Uh, wheel brands include Trelleborg and Verdestein, only two on here and your wheel setups are basically the standard or the front twins and that is only on Trelleborg that that option can be put on. The first of the two skid steers is the SSV75 at 56,500. This has 74 horsepower, a variable CBT gearbox, 102 litre capacity of fuel, 11 mile an hour top speed and weighs 3.9 tonnes. Customization on this is just additional weight at the back. This can be taken up to 135 kilograms, which I think is absolutely great for this little skid steer. Uh, should make it a lot more stable if you want to move some bigger stuff about. The second skid steer in this pack is the SVL 97-2 at 77,000. This is the tracked skid steer. It has 96 horsepower, a variable CBT gearbox, a 111 litre fuel tank, a maximum speed of 7 miles an hour and a 5.3 ton weight. This has no customization options at all. The smaller of the two ATVs in the pack is the RTV XG850 Sidekick at 11,500. This has a 48 horsepower output, a variable CVT gearbox, 33 litre fuel tank, 40 mile an hour top speed, a 430 litre uh, rear section that can hold a wide variety of crops and products. And it weighs 929 kilograms. Options on this are the attachers and the design. So if we have a look at the back of this, attachers you can have is the standard and the three point. And the design that you can do is uh, for the front bull bar, which has uh, just the two designs, design one and design two, which, which adds that onto it. The second ATV in this pack is the RTV X1140WH. Uh, this is 15,500, has a 25 
horsepower power output. Uh, variable CBT gearbox, 30 litre fuel tank, 24 mile an hour top speed. Between 280 and 1,000 litres can be held in its rear section of various crops and products as with its smaller uh, brother and it has a 1.2 ton weight this has a couple of configurations in the capacity so we can improve the uh, size of that rear section by folding up these seats and uh, and extending that uh, also we've got the design on it as well like it, the smaller atv it also has several designs on it uh you've got designs yeah three designs in total uh you've got the bull bar and then the winch on the front as well which brings us to our last two items in this pack uh the two front loaders this is the la 2255 it is the smaller of the two uh it is nine thousand to purchase has a hundred horsepower power requirements and a 1.1 ton weight uh, no customizations on this and the final item in this pack is the m77 front loader this is 10,000 to purchase has 180 horsepower requirements and has a 794 kilogram weight this, like the smaller front loader, also has no customizations. So there we go. That is the overview of the tractors and equipment that's included in this pack. Now, I've set up a little demonstration down here on Field 42. We're going to quickly try out each one of these tractors and uh, and give you a flavor of uh, how well they work and how they sound. Um, because I haven't got any vineyards on here, I have got the little mulcher, the little vineyard mulcher on the back of uh, the M5. Uh, we're just going to give it a try on here and mulch a little bit of this stubble. Um, I've got a fairly nice large or fairly nice wide cultivator here on the m8 with the dual tires on it so we're going to give that a go as well behind that we've got the m7 with an amazon cedar on it we're going to put a little bit of canola in the ground with that and then we're going to give it a bit of fertilizer using the m6 and this amazon spreader on the back of here so let's jump into the m5 turn it on turn on our mulcher and put it down and yeah, I think this is going to be a cracking little vineyard tractor, this. Uh, in fact, this is going to be something we bring on to the old stream farm. We might have to lease it to give it a try, but certainly we've got some work that this little Kubota can do on that farm. And, uh, and as far as it goes, doing the mulching with this, it's the perfect width for a little piece of kit like this. Should work great in amongst the vines and uh yeah is really really nice if we have a quick look inside the cab on here again as always we've got some lovely modeling from giants here and nice and accurate nothing it's just really really beautiful in these cabs and considering how much time i spend in these cabs in my series uh i'm really quite loving how uh, how great it looks inside this Next up, we're going to give our M8 here a try. So we'll jump into this and unfold this cultivator. This is it's looking really nice. I love the dual setup. There are so many dual wheel setups available in this DLC uh, across the three main tractors. And, uh, and it works. They work so very, very well. Uh, it is beautifully modelled again, this M8. Uh, some nice uh, additions with those wide uh, wide tyres are these extended indicators uh, and warning bits out the side. Um, I think those get added in as you add the dual tyres, which is a really nice feature. Um, the idea that they, they get added like that is, uh, is brilliant. Now, I don't think... Oops, so I lifted that up. Uh, I don't think they are something that is foldable. In fact, yes, I can't select the tractor at the moment. So I don't know if that's uh, an error with my setup at the moment. But um, certainly, I don't know if they fold in or not. 
but that would be a nice feature if they did. Uh, but yeah, this is just a very good looking tractor. To me, the interesting thing about this is I don't think this is a European spec, this M8. I think that this is a US only spec tractor that we have in the game. It does have the extending rods out the sides for easy attachment of dual wheels. And uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if this is just a US spec tractor. If so, I think we may end up getting something like this on our upcoming uh, series on Stone Valley. I think it would uh, be a great tractor for us to run a nice little farm on, especially as the uh, 200 horsepower would be really useful. Gonna switch over to the M7 now that we've created an area we can do some seeding. Uh, we've got this Amazon seeder on the back, so let's start that up, drop it down, and yeah, again, this uh, this is handling this very well. I was tempted to put some jewel wheels on this, but considering the width of this seeder, that wouldn't have been very appropriate. Again, this M7 is looking very nice. A uh, really beautiful tractor. As most tractors actually that come in uh, Farm Sim are. Uh, like the smaller tractor we looked at earlier. The inside of the cab here is just gorgeous. Looks really, really cracking. And uh, you have, we've got the working pedals and everything that we, uh, that we have in all the base game stuff. And... Yeah, it's just a, a brilliant piece of kit. This, I'm, uh, I'm loving the uh, the range of tractors in here. These are a great set of tractors for sort of a small to medium farm setup, and uh, and would work brilliantly on on any setup like that. I think the final tractor I'm going to do a demonstration of on here is the M6. We've got a fertilizer spreader on here. And again, I think this will just work really well uh, on here. A great little tractor for this kind of job. Um, and as I said, for a, a little farm. If you want to get a, a little farm up and started, then uh, th this will work really, really well for you on that. All these three tractors are very, very versatile and uh, and and great for uh starting tractors they're not expensive either uh, especially this m6 the the price of this if you're doing a start from scratch setup would actually be a brilliant little tractor to start you off with the price of eighty thousand. that's not expensive that's yeah 104 horsepower for eighty thousand is really good so uh i really quite like that that is uh that is great and it is a great range of tractors that come in this pack. So there we go. That is an overview of the Kubota DLC. I hope you have enjoyed this spotlight on it. Uh, if you do want to pick this up, this is a fantastic DLC, I believe. Uh, you can do so from the link down below in the description. And as I said, if you pre-order before next Tuesday, then you will be able to get 8% off. And if you use code VFGAMING, you will also uh, be supporting the channel doing so, in which I would be very grateful. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to leave this here, which means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.